Hi and welcome to the video. I'm Mike Falco's Flips. I'm a reseller based in Northwest England. Today we are going out to as many charity shops as I can find to try and find some cheap stuff to resell for a profit on eBay. We're going to start up north, the north of the far coast, like Fleetwood area, and we're going to work our way back to kind of where I live. And then we might keep going. It's been a while since I hit so many in one go, so it should be a fun one this. My partner's going to be with me through most of it as well. So Two of us looking, hopefully we can find some good stuff between us. Let's go. Yeah, guys, on the way down to Fleetwood, I just thought I would stop here for two seconds and hopefully you can hear me. It's very windy and very cold as well. But you see the snow-capped mountains there in the distance. That's the Lake District up there. Uh, we're heading there in a few days time. So hopefully it won't be too snowy. We're kind of on the edge of the lake, so I think we'll be all right. Just riding Fleetwood, there's about four or five charity shops here. Let's go check them out. This one here, which is a bit hit and miss. I have found some good stuff in here before. But fingers crossed, let's have a look. Right, how much are your DVDs? Right, thank you. I'm not sure there's much money in these, 25p each there, I'll give them a go. We've got the first, second and third films and a special like Beyond Jurassic Park DVD. So based on that, as long as the discs are in good condition, I'm going to try it. And if they're no good, I'm going to keep these for myself. But I don't have the Jurassic Park films on DVD. I think I've got a couple of them on VHS though. I'm not going to be watching that anytime soon. Last time I was here, I found a Game Boy original game here amongst all this stuff. You just never know. Let's see, can't we? Let's have a look at these mugs. Best selection of mugs in the far coast. for a pound. So it looks like it. Let's have a look. If it's 50p, we should probably just, yeah, even if it's not, right? So I got quite a lot from that shop then. I didn't get all of it on film. I think I got most of it though. This box here contains a bread bin, a cookie jar, and a couple of little jars. Nothing too special about this, but it was only a fiver for the lot and in good condition. So I thought we'd do that. Two pounds on this. This is a nice kind of very 70s looking like uh, dip tray or snack tray, I guess. Cambridge ware, which I'm not really familiar with, but good condition for two pounds. Definitely worth a go. Now, this here might be Port Merry and we'll have to try and get this felt off the bottom and see. But whether it is or not, it was only 50p and it's nice, so put in or not, should go for a decent amount. 50p cookie jar right there. I think the best find so far are these coffee makers. We've got this one, a little mini one there, made in Italy. Look out for these out there because some of them are worth pretty good money. I only pay three quid for the two. There's one here, but it is closed, so... This is the moment when we look in and we find something amazing. 
So this is one charity shop here. There's a bit kind of in the middle of nowhere. I do like the pretzel lid going on there though. Yeah. Right. So a few things in there, such as this, poppy design biscuit jar, possibly my favourite pickups of the day, not because there's loads of money in them, because I don't think there will be, but check these out, check them out, I'm not sure if they are legit things or not, I'm leaning towards maybe not, just because of this whole bit at the top, that's not official branded is it, but who knows, I don't know, either way, I'm pretty sure it is. These are old. And a Mega Man air freshener, why not? 50p. These are all 50p each. Right, we are now in Cleveland's. There's about seven or eight charity shops here. Let's go. Yeah, all that Dungeons and Dragons stuff in there. That, oh, they were there before Christmas. I said to them then, I said, maybe I'll come back after Christmas and you might have reduced them down a bit. Well, they've not, and they're all still there and they're not willing to budge on price. So I was going to like buy them all if they gave me some kind of half decent discount, but no, they weren't willing to do it. And I get it, I get it, I do. But they're going to be sat there for a long time before somebody buys them. But there you go. I did get this though for £7.50. I think this is a fairly good one. I think I've actually had this before. I'll have to have a look at the end to see how much it's actually worth. But £7.50, uh, that should be a good one. I got this brand new seal, £2. And I got this Age of Empires 3 PC Special Edition. I'm not sure if there's any money in this or not. They've obviously, they're obviously looking everything up in that shop, so... I imagine there's probably not much money in it, but to be honest, I think I want this for myself. The 10 quid, worthwhile, everything's there, it's all complete inside. Yeah, it is freezing today, I can barely feel my hands. This is cold. Possible chance of snow today, they're saying. Today or tomorrow. Alright, let's have a look at this one. Oh god, yeah, is that proper vintage? Yes. <laughs> oh my god. 
Vintage Tat. Somebody on it. We used to have that, didn't we? Yeah. No, I think so. With this. Really cool. Yeah. How well, how much are they? Too big or too small? I mean, bread bin. Let's have a look. Is it? It's unbranded. Just the bread bin will be worth 30 quid. Maybe a bit more. Also got a sugar in a tea jar, which will be a hard sale because one, they're a bit damaged, and two, there's no coffee in the biscuit jar. It's a decent condition. Eight quid. I just picked up a bread bin, and here's another one. Seven quid on this. Oh, I don't know. Look at the colour of it. Kind of, it'll be one of very few of that colour out there on eBay, I guess. Seven. If it's perfect condition, maybe. Maybe let's have a look. Is it branded? No, it's unbranded. I mean, there is definitely profit in it, but is it enough? So yeah, boot sale, I'd probably pay what two quid for it. Nah, I think I'm gonna have to draw the line somewhere. It's just a little bit too much that one. Cool, something about that I really like. Just like a little wall picture. Back along. Three quid each. Is it right if I just drop these here for a second, yeah. please? Thank you. Just all your games you have to pal. Oh, uh, any any games on anything oh, really? Games. Yeah, I'll, I'll have I'll have a look. Thank you. Yeah, there's Wii's came Thank in you. last week, and there's a PS4 put there as well this morning. But Thank you. I'll have a look. Oh, I, remember, I remember this game. Okay. 
So just a little pit stop here at home. We've got a couple more to go to just now, and then we're going to call it a day. We've got quite a lot of stuff today. I think we've done okay. So yeah, happy. We'll have a good look at it in a few minutes. And so it came through in the post today. I only ordered it over the weekend. Today's Monday, and it's come through today. I just I didn't expect it. So yeah, I'm gonna open it fully with you guys in just a minute. It's something which I think I would probably keep. I'll probably maybe give it to my kids see if they're interested in playing with it but otherwise it's going to be one it's going to be a bit of a shelf sitter i got a really good price on it and anyway, i'll show you that as well at the end of the video much in here. See, and it's a builder bear. I don't know if that means it's worth anything or not. Let's have a look. No, that's the exact one, in fact, I think. It's a little bit later, just got home. I'm going to show you all the fragile stuff first, and then in just a moment, we'll have a look at everything else. Let's start at the back. We've got a couple of bread bins there, which came with tea, well, in this case, tea, sugar, and a biscuit jar. In this case, tea, sugar, coffee, and a biscuit jar. Paid £8 for this set and £5 for this set. The bread bins alone should make about like 25 to 30 each at least i'll probably aim a bit higher because bread bins really do sell well for me this time of year i've got very few left now most of the ones i picked up during the boot sale season have gone and we've got another cookie jar here this is a poppy design biscuits this particular one doesn't do all that well if you can ever find this though in the bread bin version it does very well don't know why the biscuit jar just doesn't do that well but it just doesn't so yeah but for £2.75 I should still get up to 20 quid plus postage for it and the tea coffee sugars are nothing too special on either of these so I don't know five to ten pounds per jar like for the set and maybe a little bit less for these I might sell these ones individually but you know the money is in the in the bread bin on these here is a greyware garlic bread like dish um not something i'd usually pick up but it has a nice fruit design on it this if you ever find the bread bin with this kind of design on it it still goes really well i've not found one of them for a while now but two quid should get about 12 pounds for postage on that a harry potter bowl nice collectible ice i think it's new but i'm not 100 percent. this what you can see here is all kind of part of the, the design um, it's not actually like that rough looking and yeah it's quite nice it's just one bowl but it's collectively kind of thing same with these game of thrones glasses that was two pounds fifty by the way these were three pounds um you know i think these they both go for a similar kind of price like kind of 12 to 15 maybe 20 at a push 
Uh, Mrs. Bridges, this is all right. This brand used to do quite well for me. Not quite as much anymore, but it was only a pound and it's in very, very good condition. So I bought it. Uh, this probably shouldn't have bothered. I thought it was going to be okay, but I found what somebody had sold one for like a pound. So yeah, I thought it'd be all right because, you know, it's England, Australia, Ashes. It's like a tankard. The quality seems good and it's made by M&S. So I thought, can't go too far wrong. I only pay, I don't know if, I don't know how much you charge me for this. I think it's 25p, maybe 50p, um, but it's probably not worth much. It'll, it'll go. I'll probably stick it up at a fiver plus postage, something like that. I'm sure somebody will have it for that. And then that, this was only 50p, this generic biscuit jar. I don't think, I think it's unbranded, this one. Nice wooden lid, though. That'll go for 15 to 20. And this jar here, I really like this one. I knew as soon as I saw it, the quality of it was just really good. And it's a brand that I've never heard of before. It's called Otagiri. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's made in Japan. It was only £1.50. It does have a slight bit of damage, I think, somewhere. I can't think where it was now. It was only very slight. I was always going to pick this up, though. Uh, just the quality of it is good. £1.50. Yes, it's like a Christmas house, so it might stick around until the end of the year but i don't mind more than happy to sit on this for a bit before it goes this here is cambridge where i've never heard of this brand before but it's just nice like i don't know the quality of it again it is just good very like late 70s early 80s i think glass kind of insert trays into a wooden surround just really nice nice condition i it does amaze me sometimes how things like this are still in such good condition after all these years it, it really does uh, but yeah two quid as well bargain definitely definitely gonna make a good amount on that and don't forget these as well these are only 50p and it's just some measuring scoops that's all thought they would be all right at the kind of kind of different to what I've seen before so I figured I'd give them a go and lastly from this lot of stuff is this now is this gonna be Port Merion or not I'm not sure like if you it just based on the design i would say yes but actually like the quality of the ceramic not the paintwork the paintwork seems pretty good but just the quality of the ceramic just doesn't seem quite there i could be wrong it does look very like port marion i mean even if it is port marion it's not like an antique you know million pound piece but if it is you know at least 20 quid i would say and it was only 50p it was basically in like a junk um a lot of where where the last bits of kind of ceramics end up in this charity shop they just have like loads of crates of random like plates and mugs and just bits of stuff that are probably destined for the bin if they're not rooted out so let's have a look let's peel this back and see what it is if i can There we go. If it's not marked on it, then it's not going to be Port Merion. It, it will say that it is, if it is. Oh, hang on. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yes. I recognise that logo. Yep. It's the Botanic Garden Range from Port Merion, which is good. Yeah, one second, I'm going to have a quick look up of this. 1972, it says there as well. So this is quite a an older one, I think, if that's the actual date. That might just be the date that maybe they started trading or something. I don't know. Let's have a look. One sec. So I just had a look, and the prices on this size are all over the place. I couldn't find this particular one, which might be a good thing, because there's a couple out there that have gone for, like, 30 quid. Uh but yeah i don't i don't know i don't know i think it's good i mean this stuff all is always popular as soon as i list it it gets a load of watches usually it does sit for a while but it always goes eventually and you know as i say 50p is all i've paid for this so i've basically taken it from a you know a crate amongst a load of other stuff and actually my partner claire is the one who saw it it was almost almost destined for the bin but we have saved it and it will go on to a new home in the near future 
Right, so let's have a look at all the other stuff. So this is everything else, and let's start with these here, because just check these out. I'm pretty sure the stuff inside is proper vintage. I think maybe they've just been kind of then placed into these little packs by maybe a shop or something afterwards. So they were 50p each, and this is 50p. I'll probably just keep this one, unless there's a bit of money to it. I'm pretty sure this is new. It's got a, it's got a QR code on the back, so it can't be that old. A couple of cool games here. This one, anybody remember this? I really love these games back, like, they were at the arcade as well, weren't they? I think I remember playing them in the arcade, but I think I remember playing them on the Dreamcast more than anything else. I think it was the Dreamcast I used to play them on. This is the Wii version of the second and the third game. Three quid is what I paid. Now, if you've got like the gun or a gun attachment for this, which I'm sure I've got a couple upstairs, which I've never like used because I've never really had a game to put them with. I'm sure I've got at least one, but if I've got a couple, it'll put the value of this up quite a bit. So 20 quid with one gun, maybe 25 with two if I can find them. It's just like a gun shaped piece of plastic that you put the controller in. There's nothing too special about it really. And then this one here, not so much, but I did actually scan it in in the shop and the prices were coming up at like 12, 13, 14 pounds. But now I'm looking it up now and it's not apparent. I think it's like a foreign version that, that is more sought after this particular version is only worth about seven or eight quid. So that's just how it is sometimes. You know, you can't stand there forever searching everything. I had a quick scan of it in and sometimes scanning it in will give you inflated prices compared to what it actually goes for. Um, just the way it is. So a small profit will still be made or I might just bundle this up with uh, one of the Wii's that I've got, I'm going to be listing soon. Uh, this Walking Dead notebook here was two pounds, should go for about ten air plus postage, somewhere around that. So here we've got a hot air balloon, like biscuit tin, and one there as well. It originally had biscuits or sweets in it, but it's also a money box. But there's something about these that I just really, really like. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do you like these? I had a quick look, and if you've got certain ones of these, they can go for really good money. I think there's one with like a, a British flag on the top. They go for good money. Um, I've never seen these before at all. It's a brand called Churchill's Victorian Hot Air Balloon. Three pounds each. These ones go for maybe 10 to 12 pounds plus postage. So not a great deal, but I just really like them. I think they'll go quick then. You might be wondering what's this green kind of backdrop we've got here. Well, this was from the last charity shop I went to. I didn't get it on camera because I was at the till paying at the time. And my partner was like, oh, there's a Sabutio thing over there. So I went and had a look and I was like, for two quid, yeah, I'll give that a go. Really don't know on these how much, if anything, they actually go for. But I figured somebody will, will be able to use this, two quid. I'm sure there'll be a little bit of money in this. It's in good condition. So I think I'm probably gonna keep these. These are only worth about 10 quid, I reckon. Like the first three films on this version of DVD, widescreen version, collector's edition, uh, these go, you know, the, I've seen a few people with them, but I've not seen anybody with this one as well. So maybe there's a little bit of money in this, maybe there's not, I'm not really sure. I'll probably keep them just because I've not got them on DVD. So I would like to have them and this is a nice, nice version to have. Uh, there at the back, Scrabble Rebus. I'd never heard of that. It was only a pound, so I figured I'd pick it up, but it's only worth about nine or 10 pounds plus postage, that's all. Uh, these two like coffee makers here, that's a three cup, that's a one cup, I think. And some of these are good. If you can ever find the big ones, I've never found one, but there's a big like 18 cup one and they can go for like 50, 60 quid second hand. Uh, these are more like about 20 to 25 and like kind of 12 to 15 thereabouts. Uh, I only paid five pounds for the two, so obviously that's a good deal. Don't find them very often, but I have found them now a few times. 
At this Age of Empires collector's edition, I think it's like artwork edition or something like that, has this really cool book with a load of artwork from the first three games, I think. It's not actually worth that much, and I didn't think it would be, because in that charity shop, I don't know how much of it I got on film, but they had loads and loads and loads of Dungeons and Dragons, Warhammer, other kind of tabletop game, like books and manuals, but they were priced above eBay prices in most cases. Anyway, I found one item amongst all the ridiculously priced stuff, and it's this. This was 750. I've actually sold this one before, and it goes for kind of up to 25, 30. If you do hold out on this one, it, it will go for that eventually. Some people are like selling them like really cheap. They're probably going bids on eBay or something, and they're going for like five to ten pounds. But they are worth more these these ones. So I'll be holding out for at least 25. But yeah, this Age of Empires might be a keeper 10 quid i think like some people are, have managed to get like 20 to 25 on them so it might be worthwhile selling but i just really like this book and I, i'm a big fan of age of empires so more so the second one i think the second one was the best check out this mouse map from teletubbies in fact i've got two got one there as well with a different design on it in fact i've got three actually two that are brand new one that's not and i mean i'm hoping like a collector would want these but i don't know would they would they not really not sure but i've got all three for a pound so you know um, i thought i'd give it a go see what happens i've never never seen these before out there what do you reckon will somebody want these and lastly we've got this builder bear here they actually had three or so i thought but one of them wasn't builder bear and I don't think therefore would have been worth that much. One of them was Build a Bear, but I wasn't convinced it was My Little Pony, but I think it is. But it only goes for about kind of 14 quid. We were in a rush by that point. It was the last charity shop and I might have gone back and got it, but I just didn't have time. There was also a Starbucks mug that I saw on the way out. And you know what I'm like with mugs. It pained me very much so to walk past that and go out, but we had no time, so I just I just left it. Uh, it wasn't a very, very nice one, but I would have bought it. 50p is all it was. But this one here, this one is quite a good one. I wasn't sure when I picked it up, but I've heard people talk about My Little Pony Builder Bears. This particular one seems to go for at least like 20 to 25 plus postage. So I think that's pretty good. I only paid... Uh, what did I pay? £3.50 for it. So, yeah, not too bad. So I'm going to put on the screen, like I always do, how much money we should make after fees and everything. And it's an estimate. It's always an estimate. Who knows? You know, prices fluctuate all the time. And sometimes I do actually get a little bit more than what I say in these videos. And sometimes I do get a little bit less. Things like, you know, these... Who knows what they're worth? They might be worth 20 quid each. They might be worth five each. They might not sell at all. I don't know. I mean, how many people out there are after Teletubby mouse mats? I do not know. And things like this, if I sell them, you know, for all I know, there's hundreds on eBay already. I've not looked. Or they could be very rare and a, and a collector wants them. It's things like that. So it is hard to kind of predict you know you run a sale and it might go for a bit less or you think actually this is you know you come to list an item and at the time of listing there's not many out there so you put the price up a bit higher so yeah fluctuates quite a bit but that's roughly on the screen how much money i should be making once it is all sold before i show you the cool item that i received in the post this morning if you could hit the like button on this video that would be great it really does help out subscribe as well if you're not already subscribed but let's go and have a look at this item so it's a vintage toy item from the 80s and as uh, i had it as a kid only recently i remembered i'd actually had it at all and it's one of them where i was just looking on ebay and randomly it just came up and i was i was like oh god yeah i remember that i completely forgot um, and a lot of memories came back and i remember just how much i'd loved it it's weird, isn't it? Like, how can I have loved it so much, but completely forgot about it? So here is the item I want to show you. 
I've not actually taken it out of the bubble wrap yet or had a proper look at it or anything, so let's have a look. Yeah, check that out. Obviously, you're not, if you're not into your vintage toys and that, it's probably not going to mean much to you. But for me, yeah, I absolutely loved this when I was younger. Now, it's complete apart from the one car that you get with it, which if it's that one or that one, I already have it. So it probably was one of them. So let's have a look. In, in the photographs, it looked in really, really good condition. I've seen these before and there's missing propellers, missing, you know, all this is all faded away and stuff. So the box is in pretty good condition considering. And here you've got like a little kind of preview. The nose lifts up. Rotating propellers, working interior lifts. Then here on the back, you've got a load of different types of car. I had a load of these. A lot of these I am recognizing. They did so many of these toys though. Like some of this stuff I've, I've never even seen before. Like look at this aircraft carrier action place that I've never seen that out there before. Well, I didn't even know that existed. Big hauler, big rig hauler, vehicle carrier place set. Didn't know that was around. Uh, Super City, I think I've seen that. Travel City and like the big van, was it Super Van City and Super Truck City, was it? Something like that. Uh, we've got the truck one and I've, I've seen the van one. In fact, I bought and sold the van one a few times in the past. So let's have a look what's actually inside. Let's hope it's all here and it is in good condition. There is an assembly that is required. Yeah, so it's perhaps like maybe not as quite as big as I remember it being, but that's always the case, isn't it? When you're a kid, you always remember it being bigger than it was. Yeah, it definitely brings back some memories. I've got the stickers on here, really good, good condition on both sides, and. So I've seen this before and like this is all like really faded or like this bit is really faded, you know, broken bits and whatnot. But this should just open up like that. There's a little lift here which hopefully still works. It's always a bit fiddly though if I remember right. And so you've got to put your car on there and it kind of comes down. And then that opens up like that. This bit opens up, and the flap comes down. And the back here, you've got these little flaps. Where I'm pretty sure just a car can fit in. You fit a couple in there. So I only paid about, what was it, £7.50, I think it was, plus postage on this. So I ordered it on a Friday evening late. They posted it on a Saturday morning and it arrived on Monday. Now, that is not how Royal Mail tends to operate these days, from what I find. But yeah, really good. So, we've already got a load of vintage micro machines and actually some of the more modern ones they did as well. So, I wonder if my kids might want to play this. Not, not sure if they would or not, but I'll show it them, see what they think. And uh, yeah, really cool vintage item and not expensive. Cheers for now, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed having a little look at this. I will see you in the next video.